Thank you very much for having me here. I came to um, San Sebastian Film Festival because I was invited by uh, Tabacalara as well. And for me, it's very important to be involved in something that is related to culture. Uh, if it was only about, you know, um, talking transmedia only, it would have been a little bit uncomfortable. But because for me, transmedia is related to culture, then uh, I am really pleased to be part of this um, event, especially because it's uh, multicultural in terms of being international. It's, it's global. We have people from uh, Latin America even. Uh, we have, of course, people from Europe and people from other parts of the world. And um, it's also nice for me to talk with film people because I studied film and I made film and I've been working in film for a long time. And uh, it's um, interesting to see that I decided to actually stop uh, being involved in filmmaking to be involved in something else that is happening on, on the internet. Uh, and then I realized that it's not about the internet only, it's about the people. Uh, I realized how wonderful it was to actually get people involved in uh, making things with you. It could be film, but it could be something else than film, like uh, saying a story with other media. Uh, where video can um, be used as one of the media that you have in your story world, for example, a, a big uh, universe where you have uh, uh, a setup for, for a very large story where you can have uh, people involved. Uh, if you have people from other parts of the world and they want to participate in your story, you can ask them to use internet to interact with you or with your stories or even with your characters. And I was very much impressed that this is actually uh, possible now uh, to uh, produce or to create or to co-create if you have people from other parts of the world who actually are your collaborators. So when I realized this uh, powerful uh, transmedia creation possibilities, um, which I learned from other experts and practitioners, uh, I was uh, very um, impressed by uh, the power and, uh, and uh, the large possibilities. So I started to do some research. I consider myself as a researcher. Um, and because I also um, study politics, I can see the link between culture, uh, media, uh, film being included for me into the media world and uh, politics. And because the world is in um, a situation where economics, uh, social innovation, politics, everything is changing and happening very quickly, I thought it was a good time for uh, filmmakers also, of course, any other kind of art form, but because here we are at the film San, San Sebastian Film Festival, we're talking about film, so I'm talk, I talk with filmmakers. It would be a good time for filmmakers to get Transmedia ready. Um, so yesterday, uh, I've tried to turn the masterclass into a workshop, uh, which is a little bit of hacking for me. And um, it worked, but um, some people, uh, I'm not ready for this kind of thing. And um, the situation is that if you are so much involved into one and one single art form and you are actually putting yourself into uh, this art, um, you are not able intellect intellectually and physically to, to do something else because you want to work on your project. You want to work on, the, on your piece of art. You want to improve your knowledge and your artistic skills. So it's a little bit difficult to switch to another uh, possible uh, art form. Uh, it takes time for you to do that and it's a very personal and individual shift. So I think that some people cannot do that and that's very okay. And then you have other people who are like, oh, that's interesting, I would like to learn something else. Or it's not about learning anymore, it's about, okay, I know already all those things, how I am going to put them all together to make it more interesting for me and maybe I can reach a larger audience because maybe the audience is already ready for this kind of thing. And so what happened yesterday was interesting. Uh, you have people from same background, which is film, on different level of understanding, trying to do something that they never did before and it's it's painful sometimes <laughs> and it's interesting to see that uh, some of them they they really um, try even if they don't understand and that is wonderful 
and uh, some people they don't want to try because they want to stick to their ideas but that's okay too. Why do we include the notion of gameplay in the transmedia creation? Um, I think it's because um, of course many reasons. First of all, it's, it's so much more enjoyable. Uh, if, you, if you talk about a, a difficult issue, uh, to play a game uh, will make it easier to, uh, to, to understand the issue or to get involved with the issue, of course. And then you have more people who can, you know, of different cultures and ages to get involved. Uh, the gameplay is also where you engage people because they start something but they don't want to stop it because there is something more to do. So they will continue. They will come back to your story. Um, but it's not a requirement to have gameplay in your transmedia creation. There are no requirements to create transmedia. I think it's up to you to decide whether you want to do something that is transmedia or not. And if you want, it's up to you to decide um, which platform, which media you're using, and how large and how big is the universe of the story. It's up to you to decide about the time frame you want to use for this. What we have re realized yesterday uh, with the film students is that we don't have enough uh, examples to um, decide on something. So I believe that it will always be the case. We will never have enough of uh, examples to decide on anything because each time it will be different. Each time it will be a different story, each time it will be a different setup for the transmedia production. And I believe that each time it's going to be a different business model. So there will be an ad hoc business model for one transmedia creation. And then if you want to repeat this exact model on something else, it might not work anymore. So you're gonna have to create more. So it's very interesting to see that we are at the uh, beginning of something new that people can um, uh, reinvent uh, uh, with us. Uh, yes, I think it's uh, the beginning of an art form that we don't really understand for the moment, which is normal because this is art. <laughs> That's a media form. Voilà.